Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming back at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. In this video, I want to highlight something, uh, Wargames Atlantic. It's a fairly new company. They've got a limited range of miniatures uh, models. They're 28 millimeter. They're priced nicely, like this is a 40 miniature box and you're looking at maybe $35. So you're looking at less than a dollar a miniature. They have things like centaurs and fawns, which is kind of a, uh, that's, we'll talk about that in just a second. But then they also have a couple of sci-fi lines. They've got like French grenadiers that have sci-fi weapons. And then they've got like, um, it looked like Germans, but they are also uh, sci-fi weapons. Uh, they, uh, I think they, they're like Fulchermjägers, but they're not. And then they have a line of halflings, which I thought uh, I, might, I might have to get the halflings, a uh, halfling militia. And they, they're sculpting and getting ready to release some goblins. Uh, there's a couple of others. There's like some Afghan warriors and some World War I Germans. Um, yeah, so there's a limited line. There's maybe a dozen different box sets that you could get uh, with, and they're expanding their line all the time. But this company is only about a year old, and they're both, uh, the, the parts are designed in both the U.S. and the U.K. So if I was to show you there it's designed on both sides of the pond you know i thought that was pretty <laughs> pretty fun um but it's just like any other hard plastic models uh it's going to come on sprues and this these are the persians uh persian infantry which implies maybe cavalry in the future or other types of persians uh and this says first empires which i'm kind of thinking maybe they're going to go with a whole Ancients line. I'd like to see that. And then it says from the rise of Acadia to the fall of Alexander. So that would be a cool um, set. Maybe some Greek hoplites, maybe some Romans, maybe some Carthaginians. I don't know. Uh, taking a look at the box, it's kind of basic, bare bones, basic. Uh, there's a couple of flags here that uh, you can cut out and use, or uh, like you would cut this out and then fold it same thing with that uh, or you can download these uh, it says you can go and download them from their website this says not actual size which I don't know if that's true or not but you can always photocopy it and shrink it if you want but I think it'd be easier just to go to the box uh, go to the website and download it okay and then uh, this hopefully has a variety of different things it says Armies forged by Cyrus the Great, Darius, and Xerxes, the Median, the Lydian, and the Babylonian empires. You can create infantry of Persia. They are in Med Median dress with heads suitable for several satrapies and allied tribes, or satrapy, sat satraps is what you, we would call them. Okay, let's open it up and take a look at this. Okay, hold on. Before I do that, let's take a look right here. It says, this box will give you enough parts to outfit 40 infantry with weapons, including bows, spears, coppice, and sagaris. I thought, like, I don't know if that's the coppice, and I think the sagaris is a, a different type of sword, along with command options. Let's take a look. Okay, it looks like every sprue is exactly the same, right? And there are eight sprues. There are five guys on a sprue that gets you 40 guys. All right, now just casually, we're just going to take a quick gander at this. You get a couple of the giant shields. You get a couple of like the figure eight shields. I don't remember what those are called. The crescent moon shields. So you get a total of six shields there. You get a couple of different types of bow quivers. You got uh, a covered quiver and just standard quivers. Uh, one guy is definitely carrying a bow. Uh, the other guys don't have arms. And then there's another quiver. So there's a bunch of quivers. And there's a bow here if you need to do like an extra guy 
with a bow. There's a bow arm there. So that's three archers that you could build per sprue if you just needed that many archers. There's a horn right there. There's a bunch of heads. You're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's like 15 heads for five guys. So you're going to have a lot of different options. Okay, let's zoom into the sprue so you can see exactly what it looks like. All right, so let's take a look at these heads. There's a couple more here that I don't think I counted. Different types of Persian helmets. A beret style. All right, so we've got... A little bit of flash on the beards. You can trim or just paint. Look at that guy right there. That's a lot of it's a lot of wool or hair, I guess braided hair. Little hat folded over. A lot of those. Um, okay. Let's take a look at the second row. You're looking at. Arms get a lot of cloth detail on them, a lot of folds. That's a shield. Looks like it's uh, got like fabric wrapped around a frame. That's the horn. Okay, and then we got um, spear, another head, a couple of spears. There's the bow, and a two-handed over, like overhead. He's got both hands on the spear. And this guy's got an arrow. He's gonna knock into his bow. Those are the quivers. All right, and there you can see the belt. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the belt there. A lot of detail on the fabric, folds of the fabric. That's that figure eight shield I was mentioning. I'm going to flip it over so I can get closer to the camera. There we go. Got like a quilted armor. That's that same cloth guy. You got this sword. Spear. Looks like a pouch of some kind that goes on a belt. Fabric with like a tied belt. More quilted. And then that war hammer. Backsides. don't look too terrible too hard to put together um, I'm excited to put some Persians together I'm gonna have some swords some spears and some bows mostly just spears and bows all right so if I just if I go default just go with that I'm gonna have eight at least eight archers and then if I count spears, one, two, three, four. I can make the other four spearmen if I didn't want any swords or pickaxes. So uh, four times eight. So I'm going to have 32 spearmen.
eight archers. Now I could go with 16. I can make any number. I could take any number of the spearmen and make them archers if I want to do that. Uh, so if I need 12 archers, then I could have 28 spear. Yeah. And I could have a, I could actually have more if I count the guy blowing the horn as either a spear or an archer. Uh, I'm going to be able to have 16 of these big giant shields. That's cool. And then I'm going to have 16 of these and 16 of those if I wanted, right? Depends on how many you want to go with. You can have covered quivers, open quivers. The guy just finished shooting his bow. A guy with an arrow knocked in his bow. So you get a little variety there. You're going to have... Uh, left shield arms. If you want shields. Yeah, these guys are pretty cool. I'm going to have to uh, put them together and... Uh, see what they look like all right guys well thanks for coming out and checking out this um my first impressions of the war games atlantic um i wasn't sure what these guys were going to look like or if the models were going to be any good but they seem to be fairly good uh i won't really know until i start assembling them but uh i think i'm going to like them and if i like these then i might get more from the company because uh new company new molds I can always use, oh, I think they've got skeletons too. I know they do. They've got skeletons and the skeletons are kind of like um, ancient Greek skeletons. They're like hoplites. So I was thinking, I know this is funny, but I was thinking about getting their hoplite skeletons and putting them in my Greek army for Hail Caesar. <laughs> just have a, just have one unit full of skeletons. No, that, that, won't, that, that wouldn't go over very well. All right, well. Uh, I'm probably going to get them anyway just so I can do a review on them and so that I can have them for myself. All right. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out this video and uh, look for more uh, reviews of miniatures and also painting techniques and my uh, rules tutorials for different rule sets. And uh, I will catch you next time.